This week in VR education news, there's a lot of interesting stuff coming from Meta, so let's hop right into it. First of all, we have Meta releasing an AI model that can transcribe and translate close to 100 languages. This is very interesting because hopefully it will soon allow for students to practice their language skills with all kinds of different AIs with over 100 different languages being available for them to have full conversations with. This is historically an area that AI has struggled where it's really just trained on English and some of the most prominent languages in the world. So seeing that expanded to over 100 languages is awesome to see and hopefully more and more will be added as time goes by. Then we have a leak from Meta showing the Quest 3 room mapping visualization. And this is really interesting because I can see how this would be able to be set up in a classroom, being able to map to the actual classroom environment, mapping out any desks or different objects that might be in the way of students, as well as just students being able to use the headsets at home where they can feel more comfortable in their space without needing to worry about bumping into a couch or table or anything along those lines and maybe involving those items in the actual class that they're going through. Then lastly from Meta, we have them showing off a beta of a virtual keyboard. And what's very impressive here is that Mark Zuckerberg and Bose, the obviously CEO and CTO of Meta, are using the keyboard and Bose was able to get up to 120 words per minute typed on the keyboard. And usually virtual keyboards are under 70 words per minute. So really impressive to see this coming out within a VR headset and hopefully it allows more people to use VR as they're very used to how a keyboard works. Lastly, from Expert VR, I'm excited to announce that we have signed our first American partnership with a fire department with Corona Fire. Corona is located in California and they are a very innovative department working on all kinds of interesting and exciting projects around how to fight fires better, keep their firefighters safer, uh, and spread that knowledge around the United States and around the world, really. So very excited to be partnering with Chief Young and his team at Corona Fire to launch our firefighting simulations there and work to improve those both in training as well as public engagement and recruitment. So. Thank you, Corona Fire, for signing on with us, and uh, here's to a lot of innovation to come. That is your Friday recap for everything VR and education. If I miss something, please comment it below or shoot us a message so we can share it next week. Bye.